Yo guys, what is going on? Driv here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's Minecraft tutorial video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a very compact and simple iron farm in Minecraft. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. Go ahead and create yourself a 3x3 hole in the ground like I'm doing right now and place gates on the edge blocks so like so not that way so there we go and open all the gates so that this will stop the water from falling inside of this 3x3 area. Now go ahead and extend this hole by two more blocks outside creating a 7x7 hole and what we need to do now is create a an infinite water source so what you guys need to do is basically dig out a 2x2 hole and place a water source in any corner and then place another water source in the opposite corner and this will just give you infinite water source now place a water source on each edge of this hole so on all four edges i mean corner blocks whatever you guys want what i call it and there we go so that is done now what you guys need to do is grab your um temporary blocks so i'm using stone in my case and build up by three blocks from the center and grab your cauldrons and place a cauldron on top now grab yourself your temporary blocks again and place it like so and then place a um, slab on top so basically right there and now we can just go ahead and delete all those temporary blocks like so the next step is to place um, four temporary blocks like i'm pacing from the cauldron and then place a bed right there now place two more blocks on top of the bed Oops, not that way. Basically, there we go. And then place two beds on um, either side of the two temporary blocks, like so. And now we can just go ahead and delete all those temporary blocks. There we go. And now what you guys need to do is place two temporary blocks on top of the slab block right there, like so. And then place three cauldrons um, right in front of the bed heads. So basically, like I have done right over there. Now what you guys need to do is grab yourself your temporary blocks and then play, create a ring around the beds. So you should be using 11 um, total slabs to create this ring. It should be 3 on the two sides and then 3 on the back and then 1 in each corner. Like so. So here we go. There we go. Done. And we can delete that temporary block. Now what you guys need to do is grab your temporary block again and place 4 from the back corner. I mean back middle block. And then place a slab right over here on top. And then place two slabs so that oops not there. Two slabs so that fa they're facing the backwards, and five so that they're facing the front. There we go. And then extend out by three on um, each sort of edge block. Uh, not that way. There we go. And now what you guys need to do is create a rectangle or a platform that is seven by eight. Now what you guys need to do is from the middle block of the farm, like this 3x3 area, dig down by 7 blocks. So there we go. And now what you're going to do is also um, dig a 3x3 hole that goes down by 7 blocks. So 7 blocks deep basically. Like I have done right over here. Now what you're going to do is in any, in either corner, it doesn't matter which one, dig down by 3 blocks. And on the third block, create a 3x2 hole. So like I'm doing right now over here. And now what you guys need to do is place a double chest right over here and another one right, oops, there's some blocks on top of me, my head. So I place another double chest. Why is something stopping me? There's nothing there. So yeah, another double chest right there. And then place a hopper so that it's funneled into the first double chest and break those blocks. There we go. And then place another hopper so that it's funneled into the second double chest. Now go ahead and place another double chest on top of the hoppers. This should be your last double chest by the way. Now grab your last hopper and place it so that it sits right on top of the um, last double chest that we just placed. And then seal up that spot right there. Now go ahead and grab yourself your trapdoors. Place one right on top of the hopper. Now go ahead and grab yourself your um, signs and place two the same way I've placed them. And then a block higher than these, place another sign on each wall so that it's in the middle block. So on the third wall, and then on the fourth wall. There we go. Now what you guys need to do is grab your water block, uh, water bucket and place one in the corner that is opposite 
to the trapdoor. Now grab your temporary blocks and place two on a corner, basically like I have, and then place a lava, place lava bucket on top of the edge. Next step is from the outside of the farm, dig down and go ahead and find yourself your storage area. So I'm just gonna dig down and yep, here we go, I found my storage area. Now go ahead and clear the area out so that you can have easy access to this place. And we have all the chest over here. Now I would rec I have earlier said in the materials section that you, the ladders are temporary as you guys can also build a staircase that goes all the way down and up. But I'm just gonna be using staircase in my case. So there we go. Now once you're at the top, grab yourself your last trapdoor and place it right up the top over here so that no mobs can fall through. One last thing that we need to do before we import our villages is um, grab your temporary blocks and place one right over there and then place your last remaining slab right underneath the temporary block. Oops, not there, right there. This will stop any villager from falling outside this farm and just stopping it from working. So yeah, that is the reason why I've basically done that. Now you can grab your villager eggs in my case, I'm in survival, so I can use villager eggs, but you guys can use um, the rail method if you guys are in survival. Um, grab your zombie egg and place a zombie inside of a cauldron. And also name tag it so that it doesn't despawn. And now what we need to do is, this is optional, but I would recommend you guys to light up this area so that we can decrease the amount of mobs that spawn around this farm. So that means the golems won't get distracted or anything. And there we go, after spamming my left key, we're done. So it's time for the half an hour um, AFK farm test. Okay, so after going AFK for 30 minutes, this is the amount of loot that I've got. I'll just leave um, all the loot on the um, screen so that you guys can read it. This is a really efficient farm if you guys are going to be building this in the early game as it can yield a lot of iron. And this is by the way just for one hour. So yeah, if you guys like this video of mine, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to know when I first upload and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Peace.